vart är det också så från in här. That honestly looks incredible. from Banff National Park here in Alberta, Canada. It is our proper first full day and oh my gosh, this morning was actually a dream come true. Having breakfast with the views of the mountains, incredible. Like my eye sockets cannot believe what they are actually seeing. I've never seen anything quite as beautiful as this. And today, I'm hoping it's gonna get even better because we're heading to Lake Louise. So first up, Lake Louise. Let's go, shall we? Even the lift has a pretty sick view outside. Do you love it, Dean? Yeah. According to SatNav, it's going to take 46 minutes to get to Lake Louise. Yeah, that's kind of the highway one. The one thing me and Dina forgot is sunglasses and obviously snow and sunny weather creates this massive like reflection like everywhere and it's so bright so I think we're gonna have to try and find some in Banff tonight because it is meant to be a bit sunny tomorrow and I have to admit when the sun's out the sun is warm. I am so excited to see Lake Louise. The drive here was phenomenal like literally best drive ever. Also look at this avalanche warning. I'm just saying here the parking is from May 19th until October the 9th. Only. Yeah, if so you're if you're parking in Lake, yeah, in this one. If you come in high season, you have to come like dead early in the morning. So. Oh, to be honest, we got like a really good spot, I thought, like right next to the Fairmont. Apparently, during peak season, it's really, really hard to get a spot, and you have to come like super, super early in the morning, like Dean said. Oh, no, like a walking path. Should we go to the Fairmont first? Wow, the stream is so pretty. Listen to the crunching of the snow. Holy crap, look at that. What the heck is my eyeball seeing? Honestly, 
It looks so stunning here. But look at this icicles just like dangling off the building. But first of all, we are going to get something to eat because we just had breakfast um, hours ago now. And we're going to get something to eat. We're going to rent some ice skates. I'm going to attempt to ice skate on the ways. We're heading into the Fairmont. <sighs> And Dean got a slice of gorilla bread. Mm, I don't know what this is. It's gorilla bread. It smells like bananas and stuff. Kind of like banana bread. Mm. All right, we're all caloried up. And now we're going to see how much it is to rent the ice skates and potentially ice skate on the other ways. I'm saying potentially. Dean probably will do it. And I'll literally just slip all over the place. So you can rent all sorts of stuff in here. Yeah, we've got our skates. They were 45 Canadian each, which I think is really good. Also, check out the icicles on the Fairmont. 45 for each, both of them, not each. Yeah, 45 for both of them. I thought that was great, did you? See how much I buried that bench. Oh yeah, oh my god. Oh no, someone's lost the glove. I will say, when we were running out here for like 10 minutes, just as we were like walking around, my fingers were freezing. I could have done with some better gloves. To be honest, these are like thermal layered ones, but my hands still get freezing cold. I think because we take photos and videos on this camera, I think that doesn't help, but let's go ice skating. Oh, don't break an ankle, because I am not very good. That honestly looks incredible though. So all that snow you can see in the center, that's normally a lake. Are you ready, Dean? You're a better skater. I can't skate to save my life. Dean's going on. Good luck, Dean. Oh, he's getting a bit more confident. Oh, horse rides, look at that. You can get a carriage ride. <laughs> at first, it was just because it was. I knew it was a lake. It was like mentally, I couldn't do it. Look at these guys. The topless on the ice. What the heck? They are crazy. I have yet to get on the ice properly. I keep going to the edge and then stopping because I am really, really like Bambi on ice. This is Dean's second time on ice and he's took to it. Look at that. <laughs> Dean's doing it, but I can't do it. <laughs> One thing that's really cool though is seeing all like the hockey players and the people who are from here who obviously can skate, have this open to them every winter so they can come and practice. One thing I'd like to do when I get home is actually learn how to ice skate. Did you have fun, Dean? Yeah. You were really good. Although mine was a waste. I literally got 1.5 seconds of ice time, seriously. At least I kind of tried. We just come back into the Fairmont and there is this beautiful lobby area that looks out like a restaurant and bar that looks out over Lake Louise. And we walked up and you can join a wait list. And I asked her roughly how long the wait list was and she said around 15 minutes. I like that there's also a bunch of like shops and stuff here, that little souvenir shops. That our reservation within like 10 minutes and this is the lakeside the lakeview restaurant that my friends is all view from the table it's lake louise wow look at that just imagine staying here as well and having a room with a view like that and the sun is beginning to set behind the mountains oh so pretty view. Check that out, warm pumpkin. 
pumpkin cake, it's called. How delicious does that look? What the heck? How do I eat it? That's the only thing. This is kind of like a brandy snack basket. Just like, ooh. I try to get a bit That is really good. Nice, isn't it? Do you think the ice cream's weird though? It doesn't taste like ice cream. I love that bit. Right? Yeah, the crunchy bits. It's also a really cool looking restaurant in there. Look at that. <gasps> wow, look at that. Why is there no one in here? Wow, look. All right, we had a little rest. We came back to the room, we watched the sunset, and we watched Shark Tank, which I've never watched before. It's basically like an American dragon's den. I really enjoyed it, actually. And now it's time to go up for our dinner reservations. I'm really excited about this because it's like a cheese fondue place and it was very, very, very popular. They have basically sold out of reservations tomorrow and Sunday because it's a weekend, but today it's Friday and we managed to bag a reservation. Even though we turned up yesterday just thinking we could walk in, it's clearly a very busy destination and it's technically off-peak season as well. Uh, even though it's like peak season for winter sports the busy season is summer so I bet you it gets even more crowded if you come to Banff and you like the look of this place make sure you reserve it anyway let's go try it out and see if it's as good as it actually looks because it looks so cool what's the angle I'm not playing that game it's the same business It must be the weekend. Yeah, we noticed our lodgings were like more full as well than what they were. So we must get a lot of like weekend people, probably local Canadians who like drive here to spend the weekend. If you haven't seen our last vlog, this is where we went, this Mexican, in the last episode. Definitely go check it out. So here it is, the Grizzly House. Look how cool it looks out here. The building is so cool. Let's go inside. Oh, it's so cool in here. So these are the fondue dinners that they do. They do a rattlesnake fondue. Like you can actually have rattlesnake. Thank you. It is not a good dish, it's just a garlic butter. Yeah, nice. So our hot stones come out and we've got some meat, we've got venison, beef and veal. We also got a little bowl of vegetables and this is a hot stone with garlic butter to cook our meat. I actually thought we were getting a cheese fondue and I don't think I've ordered the right thing. going to the Banff gondola which I'm very excited about because apparently the views are stunning you can actually hike up the trail but obviously it's a dead of winter and I think it's a pretty uh, challenging and big hike so we're getting the gondola up. and then we want to have a little stroll around the town maybe try beaver tails today we've just booked the gondola there and it's 88 pound for the both of us so it's a pretty pricey trip and you actually if you book it online little tip if you book it online uh, it actually works out a bit cheaper than buying it on the door so we booked it for about 20 minutes it takes about 15 minutes from Banff town to get there so let's go shall we Bring down my heart I'll let you go Do it alone will let you know I might in the night with someone new He's not what I want He's not Something fun to do Put on some makeup, yeah, for you For your love I volunteer But tonight I just don't 
Wow, check this out. This is the view from the car park. We've got Banff Upper Hot Springs. Ah, there's like a crow or something. Could you hear that? Uh, we've got Sulphur Mountain Trailhead. And we've got the gondola. Some things I can YouTube videos and stuff of this, you don't realise the actual scale of these mountains. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually a little bit scared <laughs> at how high I am. I didn't think I was really that scared of heights, but this is actually a little scary. There's actually people walking up this. What? Oh, we made it to the top of Gosh, what on earth? I don't think I've ever been at this altitude before. How on earth have they built this building up here? Oh my god. <gasps> Sulfur Mountain Boardwalk. So we can walk all the way across there to the other side. is the most crazy story I've ever heard. Just over there is a radio tower and station over there. And a guy called Norman Samson was a hike to that, all the way from the bottom of Sulphur Mountain every single day as his job to go and report for like 50 years or something like that. What? There's two restaurants open on this floor, but one of them doesn't open until four, so we're going to go to this Northern Lights one. It is a buffet style restaurant, which is not really a good thing anymore, but when do you get to come and have the views of the mountains? That view, <gasps> so good. So this is where we're sat, but this right here is our view. What the down there, I think that is the famous Fairmont again, but the Bam Bamp Springs, I think it's called. We need to go there, we might uh, drive in on our way down. Oh, Dean just got one of the butter tarts. Also, the sun has come around the mountains and it looks so beautiful. <laughs> All right, we finished up having our food. We literally sat there for about two, two hours, just taking in all the views. I'm now at 2,281 meters. Wow. Oh, it's got beautiful music on. What the heck? It's barely anyone up here. Oh boy, it's cold. Makes you want to cry, doesn't it? Just with how beautiful it is up here. It's very, very cold, but it is super magical. Oh, it makes me emotional, I don't know why. I think I'm going to cry. How does it feel to come to your dream well, bucket list? Awesome, yeah, we've we'll cried. <laughs> Yeah. 
We got it to ourselves. Look at this. Chorandu, Chorandu, Gaku, Oh yeah. 